Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can share RSS feed of any website to your Facebook page automatically. Guys, sharing RSS feed is a really good way to engage with your audience. And if you also want to share RSS feeds on your social media accounts, this automation is for you. And here we are going to connect RSS feed with Facebook without any coding very easily. So let's start. To set up this automation, guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And I have pasted this same link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. OK, so you can just sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here. OK. And here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the automation workflow. And here in the name field, you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as RSS feeds on Facebook, Facebook page. OK, after that, click on create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, you can set up any automation. So in the trigger, we are going to connect the trigger application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So trigger event is that event which is going to kickstart this workflow and the action would be the consequence or the response towards the trigger, right? So first of all, let us connect the trigger as RSS feature of Pabli. Okay, so search for RSS and you will find this. A feature of Pabli RSS by Pabli and the trigger event would be new item in feed. So with the help of this feature, you can connect the RSS section of any website here in the trigger. OK, so to connect with the RSS feed of any website, just click on connect here and it will ask for the feed URL. So here you have to paste the RSS feed URL of the website from where you want to fetch the feeds. So I have opened this, you can see this is the RSS section of this website. And here, let me select um, cricket. Okay, so I want to share RSS feeds about cricket on my Facebook page. So I am just going to copy the address of this feed. And I'm going to paste the feed URL here like this. Okay, you can see I've just copied the cricket feed and pasted it here. Now click on save and send test request and the most recent post that has been posted in the RSS section of cricket will be fetched here in the response. You can see guys here it is showing us the title as Adil Rashid confirms that he'll put his name up for upcoming IPL auction. OK, let us check if we got the same uh, feed here in the cricket section. And here you can see the most recent uh, feed here in this RSS section is the same Adil Rashid confirms. Okay. And the same got captured here. Right. And here it is also showing us the date of publishing, the link of the URL, uh, the link of the RSS section and all other things. Okay. This is the content snippet and this is the whole content written inside the RSS section. Right. So that's how you can capture. Now, if you want to share the same feed to the Facebook page, we are going to use this action step. And here you have to search for Facebook pages. Here you can see Facebook pages option selected. And in the action event, you have to select create page post option. Then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Facebook pages. So it might bring you to the login window of your Facebook, but I have already logged in. So it is just asking me to continue as this person. Yes, continue. And you can see we are getting connected. So the authorization is successful and here it is started showing connected, right? So uh, we are now connected with the Facebook page and here it is asking for the page's name. So the name of my page is this. You can see. This is a Facebook page I am running named as guest events. OK, this is just a sample page I'm using. So let me search for this page's name. Here it is selected. All right. And here it is asking for the message that you want to post and the link URL. So I am going to use this data that I have received as the uh, 
as the test data from uh, the RSS feed of the website, right? So here, let me map the things. So in the message, I'm just going to click and you can see it is showing RSS by Pabli step. This is the trigger step. It is showing us in the drop down. And when you click on it, it will show you all the data that you have already received in the first step. So from here, I'm just, uh, let me map the title, title of the feed. And in the link URL, let me map the link of the RSS feed, which is here. Okay. Now you can check your connection with Facebook page by clicking on save and send test request and a new post will be created here on your page. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request here. Okay, so this is our response uh, we have received. Our ID is created here. Let's check in the Facebook page if we got a new post. And here, let me refresh the page. And here you can see guys, a new post is created here on my page. It is showing Adil Rashid confirms that he'll put his name for upcoming IPL auction. And this is the link of the RSS feed. And when you click here, it will bring you to the RSS section of the given website that you have used in the workflow. Okay, so this is the same title. This is the same website that got shared on Facebook here from this website. Okay, through this automation. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this once. This means after setting up this, you can read here, this trigger is going to check in every 20 minutes the RSS feed of this website and see if there is a new feed and if there is a new feed, the same feed will be posted on your Facebook page automatically. And guys, if you want to use this workflow, you can use it as I'm going to paste it in the description and you can clone this same workflow in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.